Hello, welcome to Tech Chan Math. In this session, we will learn about a way through which we can create the radio button in RPG Lee screen or display file. Okay, so what we are doing, we are uh, just creating one display file and then we are utilizing that display file inside the RPG Lee program. And on that display file, we will, dis uh, we will provide the radio button option for the user. So mainly we will discuss these things in three parts. Firstly, we will uh, discuss how to design the display file uh, mainly for the radio button and then we will see how to create the program and also we will understand the changes that we need to do in display file source. So before that, we will I will show you the exact output like what we are going to create. So I'm calling this program which is radio R. So it looks like this. So here what I, we have created, like this is the normal text and this is the place where we are creating the radio button. So these are the radio buttons. So here we have put one verbiage, please select gender. Then there are three radio buttons and user can select their gender and whatever the user select, it will be populated here. So gender selected by user, then there is one output field and that selected gender will be shown here. How? Let me select this. So if I select this uh, female, then it shows and after selecting, I will hit enter and it will show here. Okay. So gender selected by user is female. Similarly, if I click on male and hit enter, so it will show gender selected by the user is male. So this is something that we are going to create and design. So let's discuss how to design this. So first of all, we will discuss about the display file part. So I have created this radio D. So I'm taking option 17 here to show you the screen. Now this is my screen uh, record. Then I will take option 12 to show the main uh, screen design. So here this part comes under a normal verbiage. So this is the normal text we have stored inside the code. Now this is something that we will add with the help of uh, source we will do some changes in the source so for, for an initial time you can leave this space as empty and when we do the modification in a source program then it will automatically shown here okay so for now you can keep this much of a space empty whenever you are creating a radio button okay and this is the verbiage that we have written uh, with the help of quotes and this is the output field i have declared of size 20 uh, and i have named this I have named this field as a choice. So whatever the choice uh, is selected by the user, it will be populated here through the RPG program. Okay. So mainly we, if you are uh, creating it from scratch, then you have to uh, declare this text if needed. And then you can put, uh, yeah, you can create your logic or you can design a screen as per your logic. And wherever you want to place your uh, radio button, you can keep that is piece empty okay so now we will see how to do the further things so for now i'm and one more thing you need to uh, add here is indicator so take option eight here and go to the indicator and select one indicator cf03 mainly for the exit so whenever we press function kf3 it will take us to the uh, if it will exit the program okay fine so now we will see how to do uh, the changes in the source program of display file to create the radio button so for that you have to take option two now whatever the things i have written from line number 0 0.90 is considered as a radio button need requirements like these are the fields that we need to use here in source program for creating the radio button so you can decide the position like uh, when at which position you want to create that and after that you can uh, declare these lines so i am declaring it after the text uh, text texture myth so if you remember i have just showed you that uh, field that we have text uh, texture myth on the top and below to that we are declaring our radio button so how to declare that so for that you have to take option a uh, a at this position then press f4 so these are the field that you need to specify here. Firstly, you have to give one name 
uh, in which we will store the selected value so here I am giving it as a gender then in length you have to specify the length of the numeric data value so I am specifying it as a 2 in data type we have to select y so y is mainly for if you press f1 here so it will show you the description of y so letter y is mainly for uh, to indicate the keyboard shift of numeric only okay so we always whenever we are declaring the radio button we have to keep this data type y then in decimal position you have to specify zero and make sure that you are assigning all the numeric values from right hand side in use you have to put b b is for both like it will be considered for bo both input as well as output and here in line and position you can specify your positions okay so like what exactly the position will be so if i click here so this position is 6 and 24 so as per your requirement you can select your position suppose if you uh, in our screen we are populating it in this side if you want to show it here so you can select those positions okay now this is the function uh, through which we can create the radio button which is sng chc fld which means single choice field okay so when you are using this function then only you will be able to create the radio button so once this line is defined 0 0.90 line is defined after that you have to specify all the choices you want to keep in this gender variable or gender field so to specify the choice you have to again write a then press f4 now here you can write the function choice then you can give the choice number like one and inside quote with angular bracket you have to write your uh, option that you want to show to the user so here i am specifying mail if i hit enter then it will show me the second option choice to female so this is the syntax you have to keep this angular bracket and then other okay so this part is only for creating the radio button so the you can directly copy these lines uh, whenever you are creating a program from scratch and you can keep uh, you can modify the changes as per your requirement okay now we will compile this so we haven't changed anything but still i'm compiling it to make sure that it will work properly now i will show you the rpg program that we have written uh, to access this radio d subfile this is my rpg program and here firstly what we are doing uh, we are declaring one phys uh, physical uh, sorry display file which is radio d and this is the syntax uh, through which we can declare the uh, display file which is radio d and then you have to specify this keyword work stn after that on line number 12 uh, from line number 12 we are writing the main logic so what we are doing in main logic we are just running one do while loop till the in03 is off like whenever in03 is on it will came out of the loop why because we have set star in03 as an exit indicator right uh, when i was uh, showing you the display files uh, then at that time i show you that we are specifying by taking option 8 and we are setting the indicator as cf03 which is mainly for the exit purpose so whenever the user press f3 it will turn this indicator indicator and directly came out of this loop but if this indicator is off then what it will do it will show the record which is screen so this is the main screen that we have designed uh, by taking option 17 uh, so this is the record name screen so it will show that screen and below to that what we are doing we are running one uh, select statement so what it will do it will check whether gender so from where gender comes it comes from the changes that we have modified in in the source program of display file so it will check from here from there like uh, gender field if you if you have specified it as one then it will uh, we will put the uh, choice as male choices of uh, output field that we have specified inside the display file right by taking option 17 and if it uh, the gender is 2 then it will keep it as a female f3 then other and end as well and after that we are just setting the star star inla equals to star on okay so let's compile this program and call it again so i'm compiling it yeah so 
i hope now everything is clear to you so this part we have de designed by taking option 17 then this part we have designed uh, this part is also designed by option by taking option 17 and here we have specified one output field of line 20 uh, and the name of this field is choice so when we are select uh, doing the select and select we are assigning value to these and this portion we have uh, designed by taking option 2 and we are directly writing that some uh, lines of code to create this gender selection window okay so after that both the like once your program is ready your display file is ready you can compile this and when you call it it will create this screen and if you want to select any of the gender like suppose this time we will select other and hit enter so it will show you the user as other and if you select male and hit enter then it will show you the selected uh, gender selected by the user is male all right so yeah that's how we can create the radio button and if you want to create some uh, radio button in your display screen then you can refer this uh, session and similarly you can create uh, copy the lines of code and you can modify it as per your requirement and then yeah you can create the radio button so yeah that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will learn few more things so thank you for watching tech Chairman.